My life with Kineko inside my apartment in Tokyo. Do you see something is wrong in here? You notice? Know Let's get closer. Yes, this is wrong. It's like a stain, right? Let me reenact what actually happened. One day, I was cooking sweet potato rice using this earthen pot. Suddenly, when I finished cooking, I accidentally left the pot on the table without recognizing that I forgot to put some cloth to protect the table. I just realized that I was busy editing my YouTube videos. How crazy was that, right? Gradually but surely, I started disliking this table. No, I shouldn't. It's my fault. What can I do for it? You know what? I am thinking about painting the tabletop with kinako color. What do you think? Which color? This should be the right color. Kinako specialist, go for it. I visited a DIY store nearby. Do they have that color? Many types of brushes. Well, not that many as Kineko. Ooh, so many kinds of paint. Probably they have that color. Oh, this size looks good. Dark brown. Hmm. This must be too dark, like chocolate. Uh, close, but it's a bit pinkish. Yes, this must be closer to this Kineko color. Okay, this is it. Let's also buy a sandpaper to polish the tabletop. This is to let the paint sink in or stick to the wood. I actually want this color and the texture for the table. Looks perfect, doesn't it? Hmm, the texture matters. Yeah, it does. Wow, so cheap, isn't it? So, you wanna see what happened later? What do you think? What about this? This is Ugui's Kinako color. Yeah. Now you know what I did. I was not confident enough to paint the tabletop with my preferred Kinako color, so I couldn't buy anything at the store. I just wanted to see how the texture with the paint will be. Anyway, I will definitely do it someday soon. The top should be in this color. In the meantime, any advice is appreciated. See you then!